This week, Double Take hops in Ecto-1 for a trip back to 1984 to mark the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters. In honor of the anniversary, August 28th was officially marked National Ghostbusters Day. A day off for all Slimers, perhaps. The hilarious comedy follows a trio of misfit academics with various agendas. I'm talking to you, Dr. Venkman, who find their crazy scheme to make money trapping ghosts in Manhattan actually works. A 4K restoration of the film lands in theaters August 29th for a week-long run. It's a first chance for many fans to see it on the big screen for the first time. He slimed me. Directed by Canada's Ivan Reitman, Ghostbusters stars Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, the late, great Harold Ramis, and Ernie Hudson, along with Sigourney Weaver as the sexiest demonic possession ever. There is no being a holy soul. What a lovely singing voice you must have. Rick Moranis as nerdy accountant Lewis Tully, and helium-voiced Annie Potts as the reluctant scheduler with an eye roll for every occasion. Ghostbusters, what do you want? While the 1989 sequel underwhelmed, right, suck in the guts, guys, with the Ghostbusters. Movie lovers have never lost their love for Ghostbusters, which originally sprang from the fertile mind of Dan Aykroyd as a project for him and Saturday Night Live partner John Belushi. Ivan Reitman has talked repeatedly over the years about a sequel, remake, or that favorite Hollywood term, reimagining. But it may finally be time to yell. We it now looks like Ghostbusters 3 will star female Ghostbusters and be directed by Bridesmaids Paul Feig. No matter what happens, expect human sacrifice, dogs and cats, living together, and maybe just a touch of mass hysteria. That's it for Double Take for this week. For all you need to know about movies, check out the Toronto Star and thestar.com.